Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you the new app, free app by Meta called Layout. Uh, this introduced in version 68. Uh, it's been released gradually, so if you don't have it right now, probably going to release soon to your device. Again, using Quest 3. And this app basically is a measurement, measurement app. And you can put object, dummy objects, and also measure things. So we're going to do it right now. Basically, it explains what we can do. We just can if you want to read, but I'm going to demonstrate everything to you here. All right, so it's going to turn on the lights. So um, here we go. Uh, now I can just, by the way, uh, close it where you left off. Oh, actually, it's cool. I didn't know about that, but All right. So it's actually remember my measurement. So this is a new thing. I didn't know that, which is cool and looks very accurate. So you can change, by the way, the uh, units type. If you go to, uh, sorry, if you go to, why right, there's no close button for some reason? Here we go. If you go here to settings, you can see imperial metric. So let's turn to imperial and do uh, grid. You can hide the grid or show the grid. All right. For the sake of cleanliness, we're gonna hide the grid. Uh, although it can help, uh, of course, when you want to align things. Uh, and right here, left hand, left hand. So basically, what you can do is, uh, for example, you can just go here, press the menu button, and we're gonna choose the basic one, measure. And here we go, so simple. And basically, I can just decide to put something, let's say, here. And just stick. I can just move it around and put the other one see here. All right, so it tells me the size. All right, so five feet and seven inches. All right, and if you want again to change the uh, let's say I go here settings metric, I wish you can just see both. I don't know why. Right? Anyway, this is 120 centimeters, this is 140 centimeters. Right, as you can see, we're going to change back to Imperial. Right, so you can see. All right. Um, yeah. So of course we can just. Oh, another cool feature is you can actually snap. All right. So it just snaps, and then I can just continue. Oh, oh, sorry. I can remove it, but you can just create another one. No, how to do it? Just a second. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot. Uh, measure. By the way, this is some little bug so measure and I can just do that and it snaps right and then I can just go and do like that all right and then if I want to change it I can just do it like that move it very comfortable oh. very comfortable oh oh yeah I didn't even know that now I know you can actually continue remove oh actually that's pretty cool to remove it all right see I'm learning some things while actually showing you st stuff all right cool nice so you can move you can detach cool all right smarter than I thought uh, the next thing is uh, level I'm going to show uh, preset object in a moment so in level you can actually see the height all right you can see the height here and this is just to you know align things either horizontally or vertically in the same you know horizontal uh, line. So uh, you can see here, for example, and I can but just wait, just grab it, and I can rotate it around. So if I want to align something straight, maybe I'm putting a shelf here like this one. I want it to be straight. I can make sure that it's actually straight. Just looking at the line, it is something vertical I can do that as well if I want to see for example this table straight it is right and I can see the height so really useful very easy to use all right next thing is preset object now it won't be the same thing of course if you buy something online try the exact same object but there are dummy objects here that for very popular object you can buy USC 3d and 2d options as well so for example if you search for a sofa right so it's just a general sofa object and uh, let me just uh, put it here 
I already put one. All right, so I'm just going to show you. So basically, you have different options. You can choose move, and then you can just use the handles to move things around. You can just rotate it with a with a stick, but it's not super accurate. If you want accuracy, you can just choose rotate, and then you have much better degree of the rotation. All right, and then I can choose resize, and I can resize it the width depth and height All right so if I want to move I can move it now it will stuck to the floor and everything so I can't really play like this I mean it will go here but it, when it comes to the walls I can't move it more it's just stuck which is good for measurement because again you want to be bound of course to the physical space so it won't allow you to actually go further All right so it goes here if I choose this one the shelf alright and Let's choose uh, move. I'm already on move. So I can't really go back, right? I can pull it, but I can't go back. All right, so this is cool. And of course, you can choose like a shelf, closet, uh, chair, for example, and just see if it actually fits your space, new space, all right? And just move it around and see if it fits and see if you like it. You know, just a general object view. Uh, yeah, really nice. And these are the ones available. 3D. And there's 2D as well that you can use. If you want to put maybe you know, a picture or something. A window, door, something. There's actually a door there option. But uh, anything that you put on the wall, for example, you want to see how it looks like in terms of size, like a poster. Uh, you can do that. All right. And some other things, very useful. Um, let me just see, can put it here, and it just snaps. You see, it snaps. Can put it here, but if I was to the wall, it snaps. All right? It snaps. I can just take it in. Oh, now I can rotate it. This can be also for a shelf, by the way. Another option for a shelf. Let's resize. And move. You see, you see the lines there. It just shows you how it snaps. Nice, super cool. Uh, yeah. So these are the options. The option to clear. If I get out of the app, it will remember the exact thing uh, where I put everything, which is great, by the way, because you can continue in doing. I wish there was a save option, so you can save like uh, you know room option one in terms of design. So you can see different options how they look like rather than having just one so maybe they want to edit in the future i don't know but overall very useful one should have been in the first time when the quest 3 was released but it's now available in version 68 works well a few features will make it better probably going to see them down the road and that is uh, that's it for this video thanks for watching any question in the comment section below make sure to check it out if you got already version 68 so you can try it yourself, search for Layout app, it's free, download it, have fun, cheers.